This is what I do when I have free time. And I know it's good. I get a marker, I get a lid. This is usually from a tuna can. I already had this little elephant shape. I traced it. For whatever reason, I had some glue on this, on the back of this elephant. So that helped me to be able to trace it better. It's just a little piece of tape that I put in the back. And now I have it traced. And then comes the next part, which is cutting this. And because it's a metal, I just have to be careful and right here I have to fix that so it looks more like a trump trunk not trump and make it look better this way so now I'm gonna go ahead and cut it and this came out wider so with when you're cutting you can just make it smaller and I just got my scissors regular scissors and just go ahead and cut my lid and right here on this side I'm just gonna go ahead and go this way Take a little shortcut for the moment, and then I'll come back and cut this part. But right now, we'll just continue going this way. And you can eyeball it. If it's too wide, you can make it smaller. And then here, go up and down. Just make it look like it. there's a trunk. trunk elephant's trunk and I go this way for the legs usually I cut the whole thing but this time I'm gonna go this way like that and I'm going to go ahead and cut this part, but I'm going to make it a little bit this way. And you can feel with the scissors. There. Really careful. A little bit more. Usually you want to cut it so it doesn't have, it doesn't feel like it has any, any sides where you might get hurt. And this one I'm going to make it this way. And if you just turn the scissors very carefully. Like this, and you are able to make it into a better shape. There, because it's metal, you want to make sure the edges are flat, the corners are rounded, and if it's they're not rounded, you can just make them round a little bit round. I usually cut the edges because I don't want them to poke me. 
there. Just a bit. There. This one. It feels pokey. <laughs> so just do it again. Cut it again. There. And then here I can still feel it, so I will go again and try and cut it. There. There. You want to leave it as smooth as possible so it doesn't make any accidents. I still feel it there. Yep. Still here. Maybe you can sand it with the sand. Let's do it. Maybe later I can do it with some other type of scissors because these are too big. And there. I'm almost finished. I just need this part here. So for this, I'm going to go this way. And this one goes this way. I think I need some pliers for this part <laughs> because it won't take off easy like I thought it would. I tried it with before and it was it wasn't that hard, but now it's kind of. Well, anyways, I'm gonna leave it this way. We'll just flatten it. Just for the moment, later on, I can come back and fix it. But this little part right here, we need to take it out. And then after that, it's done. And then the last part that I go with this is, now that we've had it, now we can just add a picture. You can do it this way, or you can just make the ear about this way. And the marker is good, but it's not the best. I have a second one, but it's not. Here it is. Let's try this one. Yeah, this one's better. There. And the little eye right here. And then the little mouth right here. And that's it. That's a little elephant. So what do you think? 
And then if you want to make like a little, you can poke it with something, make a little hole, and then you can hang it. And that's what I'm going to do. And so that's how I make my little elephant with tin cans and tuna. Cute. 